Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. And for those of you who do not know me, um, by trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant. And over 22 years ago, I transformed my life through hypnotherapy, where I no longer needed to have my third surgery for ovarian cysts. And you know what? If you have ever gone through something that has been traumatic for you, that was one of my uh, points in my life that, you know, we say things do not change until two things are present. Either the pain is so great or the reward is far greater. And I think the pain of where I was in my life with stress and divorce and so much more was so much that my body was reacting. And it was that time that I was as an assistant to attorney, as a paralegal, I was sent to the HR director and she sent me to an acupuncturist. On my second session with the acupuncturist, he gave me a sheet of paper and said, did you know that hypnotherapy can help with ovarian cysts? By all means, of course. I didn't realize up there had to do with something with the body. So I knew of a hypnotherapist and uh, I went to her and in less than six sessions, truly immersed myself in our sessions, like two, three hour sessions and healed that I no longer needed to have my third surgery. And since then I shifted my entire life and that's what I've been doing. I've been working with clients. I've had over 10,000 sessions with clients. And today, being the author, having my books with um, Stand Up to Slim Down, to Stomp on Smoking, Heal Thy Mind, Body, and over 12 audio recordings, each one separately, something that it will help you. I want to know, I am here, you know what? to help you, guide you, support you, and make a difference because that's what Heal Talk is all about. Hi, Mark. How are you, my dear? Uh, so today, we want to talk about certain things. I want to talk about what's been happening, uh, not only with you, but if you have been, oops, I almost dropped my coffee. If you have been following the Olympics, right? That's the biggest thing that it's happening besides life, um, I've been following the Olympics because the athletes, it takes a lot to be an athlete, especially going to the Olympics. Can you imagine all that pressure day in, day out, years and years? I even saw that one quote that says, oh good. It says, I worked four, uh, four years for a six minute run and to break a record record in six millisecond to be the golden uh to, to win the gold and here sometimes we do some things for six minutes and we're like oh, that was too much that's a lot of pressure well there's a lot of pressure on them as well so i hope you're watching the olympics you know what i think any view anything we do to view that is a support system even if we're not there energetically it's a support system we're all energy aren't we so one of the beautiful things that i saw was uh, i even posted it on my instagram was the torch that was lit and it was lit by naomi osaka oh my god i've been following naomi for a long time if you don't know Naomi, um, I love this quote by her. She said, it's okay not to be okay. Let me say that again. It's okay not to be okay. It's like when I say one of my quotes, and, and so many have said the same thing, is our perfection is in our imperfection. So it's okay to be imperfect because we're all human. 
And Naomi, her life journey is actually that she uh, left the tennis world. She is the, uh, the world is divided and she was the number one uh, tennis player from Japan uh, that represented J uh, Japan and uh, the number one ranking in the women's uh, uh, number one by Women's Tennis Association, especially being a Japanese. And just a few, not even a few months ago, but a month ago, she left the tennis world and uh, decided not to compete anymore because of her mental health issues and the pressure and the depression that she was going through. And she said, I can't handle it. I mean, there is too much pressure. And she decided to put tennis aside to take care of herself. Now, there was a lot of controversy on that because of, you know, there was a contract, there is all this and, uh, you know, the sponsors, but she decided she was more important than money, ranking, and anything else. Well, of course, she's never going to lose her rankings. But uh, the most, this is the beautiful thing. She says the lessons that she le learned was you can never please everyone. And two, uh, that lesson two was perhaps uh, becoming apparent to her that everyone either suffers from issues related to their mental health or knows someone that does and we put that aside it's thinking that having a mental health issue is like mm, stay away no it's for our own wellness the same way as we train our body we train our mind self-help books are the number one books when you go to the stores uh, I've been watching Olympics. That's great, Mark. Uh, I love it. And uh, that's exactly what we all need to do. And I, please do share what you think. And I was like in tears the watching volleyball and the Japanese and watching the swim, uh, the Americans and every single one. I love the synchronizing uh, swim and the dives and the girls, right? The synchronicity, the timing, the precision, and it's like, my God, it, it's just amazing. And of all the things yesterday, this beautiful, beautiful lady, the Filipino, uh, the Filipina, um, her name is, let me say this, uh, Diaz. She did the, uh, the weightlifting and she became the number one Olympian for Philippines and the number one gold medal for Philippines. And she broke the record by being the, the record that she broke not only to get a medal for Philippines, to get the gold for Philippines, but by a woman. I mean, it's like her name is Diaz and I want you to go and check it out. It's, you know, it, to me, that's the beauty. You go and do all this and be proud of who you are. Be proud of your country and the support system that we receive. So. Because of that, I would love to gift you all. If you text MOVE, just the word MOVE, to 818-221-2797, I'd love to gift you one of my audio recordings that when you listen to it, it's, it's like you go and walk with it or you go by exercise with it and it's like I've got not only music that moves your body, but also the suggestions that it pumps you and it gives you this vote of confidence to do all this. I have this given to those who come to me and uh, they want to 
get more fit they want to exercise they want this you know it's motivational music and it works with you because you can also drop weight i used to go hiking and walk and jog with that you know what it reminds me i ought to do that more so this morning i got up and uh as always you know i talk about going on a walk with my dog walking this pathway you'll see it in my story it was early in the morning and the fog and the smell because we had we just had a, a rain or a light rain here in los angeles oh my god the smell around the pathway everything is just like opening up becoming one with not only the path with my dog with nature the sense it's like so grateful for being alive that's it so here's my question what motivates you what do you do what are your rituals in the morning that makes you feel alive you do it for your body you do it for your spirit you do it for your mind be present right in this audio recording if you get it i hope you text 818-221-2797 just follow the instructions and get this music it will pump you up and uh that's all it is because when we feel good when we look good we feel more confident about ourselves and when we feel good about who we are we want to accomplish more and believe it or not it also affects your mood and when you are happy when you are more alive and enthusiastic you want to go conquer the day you want to conquer the world guess what you impact others your energy can impact one other person and you know what it's one impact a day i have no idea how i impact but and i also want to say thank you to ani thank you because she she did one of the things that i asked last week we had a please text this message this this word and i was gifting one of my bracelets the evoke embrace evolve you can find this on the website if you go to my healwithin.com if you go to the shop you will find not only my books but my bracelet which is evoke embrace evolve why because when you turn it around it says i matter that's exactly what we do um what is evoke embrace evolve it means evoke what was that means go back to your history let's bring it all up and recognize that your history whatever happened we need to shed a light just to acknowledge it not to live it we can't live into the past we can't go back into another time and say this is exactly we have to go there shed a light just like these lights and say ah i get it so that we can embrace the real reality the here and now and once you do that that's when you can evolve so that's the method i work with everyone and the bracelet says that i evoke embrace evolve because i matter so in a way that's exactly what my new show my tv show we're doing all the recordings now everything is going to come out in a few weeks you will see it we're going to do the launch i've been talking about this but we didn't want to do the launch until you know with the big shebang and it's, it's going to come so so stay tuned with that and that one as a speaker i want to say everything you do 
is I want you to show up to your best version so that you can stand up for who you are and express, speak, have a voice and be heard. I hold space for you, not only on my show, right here, but even when you work with me, schedule a time. Let's have a conversation. Let's explore possibilities. Let's see if we are a match to work together. And, you know, not everything is traumatic. Sometimes we just have to shift a behavior, shift a habit, and move forward. That's all it is. It's just a little adjustment in life. And there are folks who need the deeper work and, yeah. So, by all means, I'm right here for you. Yes, for you. And remember, the things that has occurred in your life, just like Naomi, there comes a time that you have to really care and take care of yourself. Not for your family, not for others. We're not living for the Joneses. So when there is a pain, you need to tend to your pain and safeguard yourself, tend to you, tend to your pain before it gets worse. So with that, yes, her name is Ani. Yes, uh, she is absolutely wonderful. She got the uh, bracelet and it's shipped. And to her, and I want to say thank you to every one of my listeners. No matter who we are, no matter who you are, either an Olympian, or you just go walk, or you just do a lot of things, even sitting in a bathtub for 15 minutes or even 10 minutes, taking a shower, and when you close your eyes, you know, one of the best things to de-stress is to put your hands and do this scalp treatment and just massaging your scalp. And when you close your eyes, just listen, right? I know, I'm not a big deal about my hair. It's okay if it's not perfect. It's okay, it's like this. It's, it's just okay. There is no perfection. And today I'm the, the the example of saying, you know what? I'm here just as I am. And it doesn't matter if you see me here, if you see me interview someone else, if I come and you see me out in the open or when you come to my office, this is it. I think... Uh, one of my core values when we talk about what is the core value of Heal Within is I like to call genuineness. What you see here is what you will see when you come to my office, when you will see me outside even shopping. I might close this and go and go, yes, that was a good one. I might even take uh, and go online and put the music of Desperado and start dancing or just walk outside. This is it. And we, if we all took five minutes of a day, just, just be genuine with who you are. Even if you are depressed, recognizing what is depression that sometimes you are just marveling and you find a way because even in the deepest and darkest moments recognize embrace that moment and realize that it is through this challenge that you can come through it. Even a baby takes nine months for the baby to come to the fullness. And sometimes some babies are born preemies 
and we put them in incubators and sometimes the babies are late a week but you know what they come exactly at the time when they are ready to come they are born exactly exactly this this the right way they are supposed to be here so I think from this miracle of you can call it the universal the law of attraction God whatever it is that you believe in you are the miracle and everything that you are going through is a gift even through hardships even when you think oh my god what is this happening why is this happening to me it is for you the lesson is for us business family being single going through a divorce going through hardships loss of a loved one I know it's not easy none of them is easy but what you can do how you respond how you take that challenge and say what do I do with this how do I come through this if I were to take this as something I am to work to learn to experience even though I hate it I can't stand it okay because two days ago I was talking to someone and they were talking about hardships and I said you have no idea I have gone through hardships maybe my hardship is not the same as yours but I remember the time that I was in such a bad relationship that I didn't even conceive being where I am today to empower others and so many things oh my god there's no way you could have been in such a relationship yes I was to a point that I would hide under my desk and not open the door in fear in fear of that person who was coming into my office that's the relationship I was in and that was someone I truly cared for but I was at point walking on eggshells and in fear so when I share with you I hear you I see you and by all means I hope I can be of help to you is because I have experienced something similar never what you have experienced so when we evoke is to shed a light and it's to recognize to acknowledge and then you come to embrace where you are today instead of denying yourself so that you can evolve why because I want you to show up I want you to stand up and you have the right to speak up you do matter you matter not only to me but I want you to remember you matter to that person within you look yourself in the mirror that's the person so today's message is just like Naomi Osaka may you move your body and expand your mind 
and open your heart and remember that you can achieve anything you want. I believe you can. So take the possibilities, let's make it a probability and it's time for us to heal within. Every one of us deserves this. With that, I look forward to seeing you next week. You never know, but it's up next week. Watch the Olympics, let us support them, let us support you, and by all means, ah, Adrian, thank you for being here, Mark being here, and every one of you, not only if you are here presently or you're going to be watching this on a replay, thank you for being a part of Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. Until next week, let's pass the torch and let's support. God bless you and may the universal light surround you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some